Okay, so in this video we're going to cover trans cleanup and super dupe. Uh, so essentially they're the opposite of each other. Uh, one method's kind of going in and doing um, doing some stuff to essentially remove or decrease, and another one's going to kind of add it back in. Uh, and you can use these in any way you want, obviously. And you can even combine them with uh, choking selected. Um, it's kind of nifty stuff. So let's get started. I'm going to start with trans cleanup standard. And the example I have for you now is, you know, you're, you're probably going to get to a point where somebody sends you a file, they export it out improperly um, with anti-aliasing turned on. And that's the biggest problem I see a majority of the time. And what happens is you can see here, and I'm zooming in, if you don't, uh, if you don't turn off anti-aliasing when you're exporting out, uh, Photoshop's going to do its own little thing and essentially soften the edge of your artwork, any edges that it finds. And that's essentially what you're seeing here, uh, is it's kind of created um, a transparency blend, because at a distance it, it looks very smooth to your eye. Now, if you have anti-aliasing turned off, the the edges are going to look jagged, but you know when it comes print time on DTF or white toner printers, you're not really going to notice that. But it's how we need to output because it ignores if you're doing you know any sort of white toner or DTF printing the whole point essentially for it is you can print on darks and because of that you need an underbase. Underbases don't care if you have any sort of transparency here it still sees it as a pixel it's going to put 100% white under it thus creating that little white edge that you'll see a lot of the time. You know it's actually unwanted. A majority of the time. So that's what trans cleanup and super duper are all about. So trans cleanup, like I said, is going to be the, the subtraction version of trying to fix this stuff. So what I'm going to do is here's the artwork. I'm going to zoom in and you'll basically see what's going on. So I'm going to start with trans cleanup standard. So I'll click that and let the action play. Now, as I click that, you're going to see the command delete is not currently available. Now, you're going to see these dialogues on occasion because essentially what I've done in in, uh, in these actions is sometimes I'm doing layer cleanup. And if there's not a layer there, you're going to have a dialogue pop up saying the command delete essentially wasn't able to finish because there's nothing there to delete, which is fine. That's actually good. There's nothing there to clean up. But just in case there is stuff, there is a delete function that I'm trying to clean up the layers. So just hit continue. Let it run through the process. And now you can see I've done uh, essentially some, you know, um, some stuff in the background that I'm trying to keep as much color as I can, but also choke it back a little bit without destroying that. Um, and I think it comes out pretty good and takes care of that issue. So it's, you know, essentially the one click um, solution to kind of fix that stuff. Hopefully in the future, I'm going to try to work on this so you don't have to hit that extra little button. Um, but that is trans cleanup standard. Uh, let's go ahead and do the uh, aggressive version. So I'm going to go ahead and click Trans Cleanup Aggressive. So now that one um, went through fine. Um, you know, there, there were some layers to clean up. That's why it went through smooth. So if you get that dialogue, don't be alarmed. It's just, it's doing what it's supposed to do. So here's the aggressive version. So let's zoom in. And I'm going to show you the difference between the two by turning one off and on. So standard... If I turn it on, you'll see it does very limited amount. Aggressive is going to choke it back a little bit more. So if I turn off standard and reveal the aggressive, you see it step back a little extra. So that's the difference between the two, basically. You're just getting a little further of a choke, pulling back. So those are trans clean up. No, nothing crazy. It's just basically doing a little bit of magic and choking back to kind of clean up the edges. Um, now, on a different image, I want to show you uh, essentially what's going to happen. It's looking for transparency and trying to clean it up. So in an area like this where you have a crazy amount of transparency blending, you're going to have a lot of loss. So these are really for, you know, images that have a small little fuzzy edge, things like that. That's kind of what Trans Cleanup and Super Duper are really all about. So let's go ahead and we're going to do a Trans Cleanup standard on this image that has a giant chunk. So, you know, it's up to you. Be creative. You know, you'll know scenarios where you can kind of, you know, use them for not their intended purpose, but other things. So let's do a Trans Cleanup standard, which is not so much of a choke. So again, looking forward to delete. We'll just hit continue. Runs through the process. 
and it's done its cleanup. So you can see it's removed as, um, a, a nice giant chunk, about 50%, because that's kind of what I said it at, um, and left behind some color. So you see that I'm actually trying to bring back or, or essentially reconstruct the image and then choke some stuff back. That's basically what's going on in Trans Cleanup. So that's essentially what's going to happen in an image like that. But like I said, the main purpose of Trans Cleanup is for quick, you know, when somebody sends you some garbage artwork, fuzzy edges, you can kind of get in there and clean it up. Now the second version is uh, Super Dupe, which is essentially a super duplication, essentially is why I named it that. Um, so what you can do is essentially click this and it'll do multiple duplications of the image. And sometimes that works out better than choking back. So we'll do a super dupe. Click on that, make sure the layer is selected, run through the process, and you'll see we'll recover a whole lot here. But sometimes that can introduce colors that you don't need in your artwork. But that is super dupe. So that's the additive like here. See, we've got some pixels that maybe we don't need. So go ahead and follow that with a choke selected by one pixel. So if you have that layer selected, hit that, it'll choke back by one, and you're good to go. So that covers basically SuperDupe. Now the only other thing I want to show you is SuperDupe works with selections as well. So I believe, if I remember correctly, let's say this section here, you know, is the only piece that we need to duplicate. Make a selection and hit SuperDupe selection. And it'll actually run through and duplicate just that selection okay it's in its own layer so you can turn on the old artwork and you'll see it's made a selection of that area so that covers super dupe um super dupe selection trans cleanup standard and aggressive and also tied in a little bit of choke selected um so yeah that covers that in the next video we're going to go over under base and that basically covers everything for raster adjustments the, or the raster adjustments category and then we'll be moving into rasterization